Hello and good morning, my name is Rob. Today we are going to kill one of the Stranded Deep bosses. Our current location is this island here. We need to go north, figure out what boss this is. Let's go. It is 1625. I'm a little bit hungry, I'm a little thirsty. My health is full. You want your health to be full before you attempt this and you do not want to fight the bosses at night. So we're going to wait for the sun to go down. We're going to sleep and we're going to leave first thing in the morning. We need to go directly north. On my person, in my inventory, I am stacked full of refined spears. They do the maximum amount of damage. Also, in our inventory, we have four air tanks because we're going to fight underwater. We have four bandages in case we get bit and one breath boost so we can hold our breath longer. My hunting level is five and my physical is also five. Before you leave, make sure you fill up your food and water as high as they can go. And north is to the right of the cargo ship over there and I see it right there. Let's go. It looks like it might be the Meg. While we're sailing, I'm going to put your guide to what weapon does what damage in this game. The first number is melee damage. The second number is thrown damage. At the very bottom, the refined spear does 20 melee damage and it does 40 damage thrown. And this is at level zero hunting. This number increases as your hunting level increases. To increase your hunting level, go hunting. Kill fish, kill sharks, etc. Here we are. Here's the Meg. We're gonna stop just, just before him. We'll drink the breath boost. There he is. Now you can stand on your boat and he typically won't jump out at you. Every now and then he'll jump out at you. Preferably, I took the breath boost. I have my air tank. Get my refined spear, I'm gonna jump in. And I'm gonna get under the whale's flipper. And when he comes at you, light him up. The Meg has a mechanic where when he's hit with a spear, he turns away and runs. The best visibility during the day is between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. It's a little before 10 now, so visibility is not the greatest. Being as how visibility is not the greatest, I'm using the in-game indicator, the little yellow triangle that tells me where the Meg is when he's not visible to me, and I am pre-aiming that spot because that's where he'll show up. And he's dead. Refined Spears for the win. Beating the Meg will unlock one aircraft rudder part that you need to escape and beat this game. It also unlocks one decorative trophy that you can put on your base to show off to all your friends. When you fight the Meg, you will lose refined spears every single time. It's impossible to be fast enough to get them all. It's a shame. It took us 11 spears to kill the Meg. And if the Meg has 500 HP, that suggests that we do approximately 45 damage per spear thrown at level five hunting. So there it is, that's how you beat the Meg. Stay tuned for the other two bosses. We'll get those done pretty soon. Cheers, like, subscribe if you got some value from this, and I'll see you in the next video.